One nation came up, uh, came in there and set up shop almost instantly. Nancy, good evening. Good evening, Brian. Within 48 hours of last week's quake, two 747s arrived in Port-au-Prince from Israel. One loaded with medical supplies and the other with personnel, here to create the best field medicine available. Oh my God, they have machines here. They have actual operating rooms and it's just amazing. What's the machine? Uh, it's, a, it's a respiratory machine. It's a ventilator? Ventilator and monitor, suction and uh, oxygen. You were telling me that they didn't just set up facilities, they have tents that specialize. Some of them specialize in ICUs for children. Some of them specialize in surgery. As, as you walk through this campus, it has military precision. You see a pediatric ward, you see a maternity ward, a newborn intensive care unit. Israel as a state has taken a strategic decision to send humanitarian help to any place in the world that needs us and wants to accept us. And when the nation takes a, st a strategic decision like that, the organization is very quickly. And along with that goes the devotion that characterizes the people that take the role of fulfilling this mission. <laughs> His name was Emmanuel Bito. Uh, we rescued him from the from the rubble. Something like uh, between us to him, something like six or seven meters of rubble and uh, trash and um, and material that it takes us something like uh, seven or eight hours to bring him from uh, from from the rubble. You bring the man his life again. But you know that uh, without you, most of the, I think that he uh, never survive. People from all over uh, the devastated area, and even the locals with long-standing illnesses, heard that the Israeli hospital is there, and people with lots of with diseases that they have been living with. Uh, uh, searched and came to our uh, compound. Uh, after uh, five days, uh, the medic team uh, go out uh, to the hospital to see what's uh, going on in uh, Port-au-Prince. It was very uh, uh, terrible uh, to see. Uh, it was very, very difficult. And, uh, after uh, we come back to the hospital, uh, we, we more realize what we do in the hospital. It is a part of our Jewish identity, of what characterizes us as a, as, a, as a Jewish nation, Jewish people, that is connected to what we've suffered in the past and what we share, all of us, in terms of not to stand idly by when people need you. The mission of Tzal, of the United States of Israel, has been able to kill 1,111 people. All 1,111 people who came to the hospital, and who came to the hospital, were the people who came to the hospital, who came to the hospital, who came to the hospital. עכשיו, כמה זה 1,111 אנשים ליד 300,000 הרוגים, זה כל אחד יכול לבחון ולומר. אנחנו הולכים לסוף העולם גם כדי להציל בן אדם אחד. כל מי שהיה שם, הרגשתי איזושהי תחושת שליחות מיוחדת שכל אחד הרגיש, וזה מה שגרם בסוף להצלחה של המשלחת. Very significant burns, making very urine. Significant secondary, making urine. All systems function, okay? No infection. No infection in the meantime. Here had an amputation. Yep. And uh, we can't really close the. Uh, okay, needs a flap. Uh, she needs a flap. I come from a country where uh, a third world country, basically, and uh, from Ethiopia, 
and I really know what life is under such situations and I immediately identified with the locals and you know not uh, much of the world pays attention to you in living under such situations and you look at these beautiful souls coming from Israel and you know helping to those people working around the clock it was just amazing when I speak of you of those people to you I have goosebumps all over because it's just amazing it's just amazing no uh, uh, other words and I felt very proud to be Jewish to be Israeli to belong to the IDF to belong to the medical corps of the IDF.